We are so lucky to have such a great fan base. So all of you guys have been asking me, coach, do a video about Gotia Cup. Uh, how would I make this video? I mean, it cannot be a 60 seconds, 90 seconds video for TikTok. Shit! <laughs> we'll make it for YouTube. Gotia Cup has been around since 1975, so it's older than me. We've been to Gotia Cup before as well. We love the city, we love the competition, we love the experience. So <laughs> After two years of nothing because of coronavirus, we said let's take our under 16s boys to Gotia Cup. The intention was clear to gain experience, to make sure all the players are back in that competitive environment. We said, whoever comes, they have to play. We are not going to take players from Dubai in the middle of the summer when their families are traveling to go to a cup and then they would watch others play. So all the players that were supposed to come with us had to play matches. So the players that are reserves and are subs, we've talked about this, are you gonna make them sit on the bench? Or do they have to also gain experience? Because if they don't play, what's the whole point of you bringing them? And when will they ever get better if you don't play them, right? The first game that our under-16s played, we played against BP, one of the strongest teams in Sweden. They were so organized, a very functional team, and we had probably one of the best performances that we had. Solid, with a plan. We had two goals disallowed. They say we are not allowed to talk about the referees, but man, you killed us. How is this goal not allowed? How is this a foul? Foul on who? Come on. Which really hurts because none of them were disallowed. Again, we can't talk about the referees, but this is an offside, apparently. The guy is in front of two defenders. A great shot, but then the referee says offside. This is the second disallowed goal in just a single game. Thank you so much, referee. And the funny thing is, all the mistakes of the referees were against us. Again, not accusing everybody, anybody, but people that were there, and there were a lot of people. If you're watching this, comment. Uh, very poor refereeing. It's part of the game. We understand that these are young referees, 17, 18 year olds, but it should not be an excuse. If you're a referee, you have to make the game as fair as possible. So the first game that we played, we played our strongest team, 0-0 against PP. Second game, we played against an Italian team and that was a chance for us to play everybody else. <laughs> Even though the Italian team was the strongest team in the group, we played with all the reserves. You're on the bench most of the time, but then you get the chance to play. You get those moments. That's when you show your quality and then the coach will hopefully play you more often. That's the only way to become a starting player. And then we had the last group game. We played against another team from Sweden. A very competitive game. We lost, we shouldn't have lost. Let's not talk about the referees. But what I'm trying to tell you is the first three games in the group stage was not important for us. Because regardless of how you do in the first three group stage matches, you have to make sure that the fourth game that you played, which is the playoffs, you win that game. The first three doesn't matter. So we were prepared for the fourth game. We faced a very tough Mexican team. The other team, they wanted it as bad as us. A great referee, by the way. See, I'm fair, even though we lost. See, I'm, I'm fair. We got a penalty. And the funny thing is, three out of my players did not want to take it. Well, the first one, the first penalty taker is Khaled. He got injured in a 1v1 with the goalkeeper. It should have been... A red, last man, but again yellow, but sadly Khalil got injured. So our number nine went out and when I was putting him outside, I asked a couple of the boys, they said, no coach, we don't want to take the penalty. They chickened out in other words. And then one of the lads said, I'll take it. We said, okay, take it. And then 
From that point, we missed a penalty. It was a very close game. Nil-nil, it goes to penalties. And when you're the team that has missed a penalty during the game, if it goes to the penalty shootout, your head, the mindset of the team, is not really sharp because you already missed one. So, unfortunately, we missed two penalties. <laughs> And the other team won, fully deserved, these penalties, you never know what happened. That's our under-16s wrapped up. And then we have our under-14s who overachieved what we wanted to do. We never thought these guys would finish runners-up. Coaches say you need to talk. Well, you're wrong. You don't need to talk. If you and your bro have a chemistry, you can pass without even talking. And then from that point, we had a couple of days to watch matches. <laughs> to go to the Lisberg Park, which was so fun, by the way. <laughs> trip was over, just like that. Just like that, the trip was over. Shit! Now, there are a few things that I want to share with you. When we go on a trip, nobody knows the roommates until we get to the hotel and when the players put their passports and they check in. So again, that's a beautiful moment for them to enjoy life, enjoying the friendships. Uh, you can see now in this video that I'm gonna put for you how these guys, these dinosaurs were so excited. Oh, let me tell you one more thing also. Uh, we used to eat at the school, uh, good food. But, <laughs> but you know, you guys don't like uh, proper food, so you wanted to eat outside. And we said, you know what, if you win a game, you get to eat outside. So um, sometimes they ate outside. Sometimes they ate inside. <laughs> But overall, a beautiful trip. Now, for next season, we are already planning to consider three cups. Gotia Cup, Ghana Cup, and Norway Cup. We are trying to do everything to go to all three. Under 14, 15, 16, and 18. So we have four teams. We're going to spread them across these countries. One of the teams will probably play in two tournaments. Now, thanks for watching this. This is a new way of making YouTube videos for you. I'm just sharing what's happening inside the football club. If you're interested, watch it, enjoy it, learn from it. If you have any feedbacks, let me know. And this is not to get comments from you. Yeah? I know people do it. I'm interested to know your feedbacks. You guys rock. And I hope to see you very soon in one of these tournaments.